No dog has ever got the better of super trainer Victoria Stillwell. Watch. But now she's really putting her reputation on the line. I'm going to take three totally out of control dogs and get them to take part in the greatest dog show in the world, Crufts. Chinese press. The creme de la creme of the nation's most perfectly formed pooches have spent this weekend battling it out for the coveted title of best in show. But Victoria's about to gate crash the party and she wants to bring along some unexpected guests. <laughs> but can Victoria really win any silverware with these mangy mutts? Rocky, stop it! This journey to crafts will push the dogs. That's not good. The owners, no, he's evil, and even Victoria, to the limit. I cannot take the pressure. Three dogs, six months, one trophy. It's been my dream for ten years to get to Crofts. It means the world to me to just get there. Crofts, here we come. <laughs> Victoria is setting out on the challenge of her career. To have any chance at crafts, you've got to aim for perfection. To compete for the big prize, your dog must be a pedigree, be registered with the Kennel Club and have its private parts intact. Every breed has a breed standard and that is how the judges judge. The breed standard really is the blueprint. So in a particular breed, there will be a standard set for its head, colour of its eyes, the set of its eyes, the set of its ears, the coat, the tail, the legs, the way it moves. Every single aspect of the dog is built up into one standard that the breed can then be judged against. The person that wins best in show has really worked all their life to get to that point. There's nobody in, in the dog world that just sort of walks in and walks into best in show. But that's just what Victoria's planning on doing. Let's meet our contenders. Two of our dogs are pedigree pooches with all their paperwork and private parts intact. Meet Rama and Rocky. Both come from long lines of champions, but there's a problem. They're out of control. One's hyperactive, the other bites anyone who comes near him. There's a long way to go before either of these dogs are ready for the canine catwalk. First up, Caroline, Jono and their German Spitz, Rocky. They lived a quiet life in Wales with their two kids and two well-behaved dogs. But Caroline had a dream. I so want to show at that championship level to get to Crufts. And obviously Minnie's only a crossbreed. Rowan's got no papers. So dog-loving Caroline dug deep and forked out 400 quid for pedigree pooch Rocky. I think he's fantastic and I want him to show, I want to show him off to everybody. To be able to get to the top is what I really, really want to do. Unfortunately, he didn't turn out to be quite the prize pet she'd hoped for. <laughs> Yes, Rocky does terrorise the other dogs in the house all the time. He's cute, but he is so naughty. He's so crafty, so cheeky, and he's quite out of control. He's constantly harassing or humping the other dogs. Rocky, stop it! Oh, yes, Rocky is a real sex pest. Um, Rocky tried to mount a Newfoundland and also a Siberian Husky. Both male, actually. They weren't very happy about it. And because Caroline wants to show Rocky, she can't cure his humping by getting him castrated. Whenever he can, he'll make a break for it. Rocky! Rocky! One family member Rocky. wishes Rocky would just keep on running. I'm a, I'm, I, love, I love dogs. It's just that one. Rocky. Nasty. He's very nasty. Husband Jono is regularly hounded out of his home to the sanctity of his car. <laughs> It was up to me if he had the door. But Caroline adores Rocky and is desperate to show him off at Crafts. It would be brilliant just to win something. To even be there with Rocky, it would be like a dream come true. 
Caroline believes Rocky is destined for greatness and has already taken him to show dog training classes. But Rocky's developed a nasty habit of biting the judges. This canine crime is so serious that Caroline is terrified that Rocky will get blacklisted. He could get kennel clubbed, which means he'd get removed from the ring and he would not be allowed to show ever again. Um, I don't know, but I think it might mean that I can't either. If she doesn't get anywhere with the dog, then I'm going to go mad. Good lad. Mwah. Oh, lucky. Oh, little baby. She's sit sitting there, looking at me, smirking at me. Yeah, horrible little rat. Enter Victoria. She's got just six months to turn this judge-biting furball into the model of discipline, ready to show at crafts. Hello. Rocky here. Don't need to know which one's Rocky. Oh, my goodness. Nice to meet you. Hello. Rowan. Wow. You want him to go to crafts, you want him to be a show dog? Yeah, he's qualified, but right now I'm too scared to take him and I'd love to take him. To get into crafts, dogs must go through a qualifying round. Rocky, stay. Earlier last year, unable to contain her crafts dream, Caroline took a trip to Blackpool to enter Rocky into a qualifying show. Luckily for her, Rocky was one of only three dogs in his class. Croft's rules state that the top three qualifiers go through to the main competition. Coming in third and last, Rocky has fluked his way through to the finals. But Caroline is terrified that on the big day itself, Rocky will bite the judges. You do know that aggression is an automatic disqualification at Croft's. Yes. I don't know that, actually. I yeah. know that. I've no known way. that a long time. I'm in trouble. Yeah. yeah. He is going to have to improve dramatically if he's going to succeed at Crofts. Victoria wants to see for herself how Caroline's been preparing Rocky for Crofts at special weekly classes where wannabe show dogs practice strutting their stuff under the watchful eyes of experienced judges. So this is your in craft class. <laughs> Today, Caroline's hoping that Rocky keeps his gnashes to himself. It's all right, it's a good lad. Caroline is nervous. Come on, straight on the table. That's a good boy. Very nervous. But on the judges' table, Rocky shows his true colours. Good boy. Belch and growl. Now, when she goes for his mouth, he doesn't like that. No, 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 no. That's enough. He's no, growling. You dare. No, don't you dare. No. no. Now, now. That's enough. OK. I think I've seen enough. Rocky. What I've just seen in there is a dog that is not fit to be shown. If Rocky did that at Crufts, that will be the end of his show career forever. And Rocky's not the only dog Victoria's going to have to work miracles with. She's also got to get a manic pharaoh hound and a dizzy Dalmatian up to Crufts standard. Come on, up. Will she be able to squeeze a lifetime's worth of training into just six months. If you ask me now what chance we have to get to Crufts, I would say absolutely zero. Our second Crufts contender has none of these qualities. This is Rama, the hyperactive pharaoh hound. Rama's an excitable clown, really. Rama is like a canine Catherine wheel. It can be very exhausting. This dog is so hyper, he'll chew up the grass, the walls, and even the fence. He actually runs straight through into next door's garden. Rama is quite literally running rings around his owners, Ian and Sam. He wants to do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it. He wants to be a joker, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Clown prince. But Ian is convinced that his dog has what it takes to become Stay. a Crofts champion. Stay. Rama comes from really good breeding stock. Um, his mum was best of breed at Crofts in 2003. Um, we think he's got all the characteristics to do really, really well at Crofts. Unfortunately, his mind isn't uh, exactly focused on what he should be doing when he's in the ring. Rama may be in the supermodel league of the dog world, 
He's as wild as they come. And unless Victoria can control this energy, he's got no chance at Crufts in six months' time. Hello. Wow. Rana. Very excitable. Hello. Hello. I can see he's a very excitable dog and boisterous. Um, and sometimes um, boisterous dogs don't do so well when they have to be in the show ring and have to have a lot of control. It's not long till Victoria gets to see just how little control Ian and Sam have over Rama. Sit. Rama. Rama. Sit. Sit. That wasn't very effective, was it? No. <laughs> Suddenly, there's something far more appealing in the bushes. I take it that was a squirrel. Yes, his, uh, his favourite uh, hunting trick. Yeah. At the moment, that dog has no control, can't focus on Ian, is completely distracted, and in order for us to succeed at Crufts, it's got to change. It certainly has. So what gives Rama all this excess energy? Every day, he feasts on a gourmet menu of scrambled eggs, hand-crumbled wheat biscuit, the finest cheddar cheese, a dash of goat's milk, some sardines, and a bowl full of tripe. What do you think about the diet? Unfortunately, he does suffer with a lot of very um, offensive wind. Mm. You see, this is a very, very high energy food. And I just think this is too much for a dog that lives quite a sedentary lifestyle. I see. We're going to make a fresh start with diet, I think. Maybe we could use a really good, natural, organic dog food so that his energy level will go down a bit. He'll be able to concentrate more. Fantastic. If Rama is going to proceed through the qualifying stages to Crufts, competing with the best examples of his breed, Ian is going to have to learn how to handle him. We all have to make you a bit tougher, a bit more direct, a bit more leader, calm, confident. That's what we need. It's no good being soft on a dog like this. Victoria takes Ian and Sam out to Dudley Town Hall to show them the kind of handling Rama needs. Boy, what a good boy! What a Using good her body boy. language and a supply oh of tasty treats, Victoria is teaching Rama to understand commands and get rewards when he does. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. It's starting to look like Victoria can turn Rama into a champion Good after all. Good boy. Hey, now he's ready to work. Do you see how with the vocalizations and the body energy, he's energized? Okay? And, and with the dog, he needs energy in the ring. Of course, I've got chicken here, so it's motivation. And, ahem! And he only gets it when I decide that he's worked hard enough to get some, OK? After seeing Victoria up at the town hall uh, this morning with him, Good. how well she handled him, uh, just goes to show that I do need to be a lot stronger with him if I'm going to do any good with him. Victoria's on her way back to Wales to see Rocky, the judge-biting German Spitz, who qualified for Crufts by the skin of his teeth. If he bites a judge at the competition, Rocky and his owner could be banned for life. No. With Crufts just five months away, Victoria needs to work with Rocky and Caroline to stop this aggression. Rocky hates people touching around his mouth, and that's essentially because he's scared. So I have to get Rocky to become more relaxed with people and to get Caroline more relaxed when she's handling Rocky. Victoria has devised a special technique to get Rocky used to people poking around those naughty gnashers. Chicken on a toothbrush. 
what you're building here is a positive association between fingers getting close to his mouth and something really pleasurable happening to him. Oh, what a good boy. See how my fingers are getting right close to his mouth now. Nobody would dare usually get this close mm. to his mouth. By exposing Rocky to a stranger's touch, Victoria's hoping his judge-biting days will soon be over. Fox, walk on. She also introduces a stress-busting exercise regime. How much exercise does Rocky get? Um, it varies. Sometimes he goes out for 10 to 20 minutes a day. Other times he goes to the forest and he has like an hour around the forest. I think exercise is extremely important for this dog. Dogs that have aggressive tendencies uh, tend to suffer more stress than the normal average dog. A tired dog is a happy dog. Right, okay. 20 minutes a day does not cut it. Right. I want this dog to go out two hours a day. One hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon. If you want to get this dog in a better frame of mind, it's what you're going to have to do. Okay. Exercise is the most important thing that this dog needs. If you did nothing else, okay. exercise is it. Right. If they're going to succeed at crafts, the whole family need to pull together. Even Rocky's arch enemy, Jono. Jonathan. Yes. I think it's really important you spend some quality time with Rocky. Sounds fun. Uh, I'm going to get bit. Which is exactly what can't happen when Rocky goes into the ring at crafts. I just want you to show him the brush. Hey. hey Rocky. Rocky. Oh, Rocky, yeah. While Jono grooms, Victoria distracts Rocky with some tasty treats. Well. This technique means Rocky will begin to associate grooming and Jono as sources of pleasure. Longer. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Well, as soon as he turns his head around, stop your brushing. No, no, just keep an eye on right. the ears, what there is. Don't, don't, okay. don't brush them. Good. Good. And that's it. So, is Jono starting to feel the love? Right, so I'm really going to support Caroline on the road to Crofts now, so uh, me and Rocky are going to put our differences aside and go for it. So these two pedigree prima donnas will battle it out to be best in show. Daddy, off! Oh. But there's one other dog Victoria wants to join the Crofts party. The problem is she's not Kennel Club registered. So how do dogs from the wrong side of the tracks get to Crofts? The answer? Doggy dancing. Best in show at Crofts is really just a beauty pageant, but what impresses me as a trainer is when dogs and owners work together really well, and that means heel to music. This is how you prove you're a great owner. If the pedigree show is where the supermodels of the canine world strut their stuff, then doggy dancing is a chance for scruffy mutts to show what they can do with brains rather than beauty. There's increasing interest in the sport because obviously it marries together music and a dog, and also it shows off the bond between the dog and the handler. The best dogs for dancing are the ones that will follow their masters anywhere for a tasty treat. So Victoria's recruited one of the greediest dogs she's ever worked with. Dally. Dally now. When Victoria first met Dally last summer, all she ever thought about was food. Dally off. Mum Debbie and her two kids, Sophie and Amy, would have to guard their food at all times. But with Victoria's help... This is Daddy's brain. Oh. <laughs> food, 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 food. Debbie and the girls managed to regain control of their house, and Daddy became the well-behaved pooch the family had always wanted. This is my own room now. Daddy doesn't come out here at all. I can prepare a meal on my own. Daddy may be a reformed character, but why on earth does Victoria think this daffy Dalmatian could cut it at crafts? It's no secret that when it comes to training, treats are a great motivation for dogs. And seeing as Dally is the most food-obsessed dog I've ever come across, I've got the perfect challenge for her. To reveal her master plan, Victoria's invited the whole family to the theatre. Hello. 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 How's she been? 
Yeah, really good. Much better. Um, out of the kitchen. Fantastic. I want to show you something I think you and Dali will really enjoy. She's brought Debbie and the girls here to meet a craft superstar. This is Richard Curtis, the UK's most successful dog dancer. Victoria's enlisted Richard to teach the girls the art of dog dancing. She won't be up for any prizes, but Dally will get to perform in front of thousands in a heel work to music display. So how do you kick it on the canine dance floor? Take it away, Richard. Debbie and Dally be able to learn a routine like this in time for crafts. We'll try. We're up for the challenge. We'll try. Okay. okay. You up for it? We're up for yeah. it. <laughs> I'm going to go hysterical. Ballet crafts. In four months' time, Dally will be performing alongside dogs and owners like these who've dedicated years to learning their craft. I believe you've got uh, Dally's favourite chicken with you today. I have. Great. This is going to be good for Dally because she's smart, she's food motivated, and she loves to learn. Now I want you to start with a nice big treat right by her nose, okay? Are you ready? So treat in the left hand. Go. Treat onto Look her Dally. nose. Dally! Dally! Oh, it's gone crazy. Dally! What's this? Good she girl. is a clever girl. Give me an egg. She's, it's the first time she's been off lead today, so she's bound to be looking around. Right, walk forward slowly, Danny, slowly, heel, heel slowly, heel now twist. Danny, Treat on her nose, turn. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl turn. And again. Good girl, heel. Danny, turn. Good girl. What's this? And then you're going to show her the treat. She's going to come through to the right, through to the left. And this is a weave. Come on, Dally. Come on, Dally, weave. Dally, weave. So you can see how she's coming in a nice big circle. It's soon Around. clear that Victoria's food theory was right. She's a star. I knew she'd be good at this because she's so quick and she loves the food. So we're building up the uh, the moves quite well here. She's uh, she's going to be a superstar. Whoa, Whoa, look at that one. Excellent. Ready? Over. Good girl. Oh, thank you, Very Danny. good. <laughs> I was looking for you. Over. Good girl. Clever. It looks fantastic. How did you feel doing it? Uh, yeah, I was, I was pleased with her. She's, she was working and concentrating and focusing. Do you think you're going to get there to Crufts? Do you think you'll be able to do it by then? I think Dally could do it with you or, or Richard. <laughs> I don't know if I can get my hands right. I have every faith, because I think you can. Dally has been brilliant in there. I think she's going to do really well. However, there is a lot of work to do. And at Crufts, it's very noisy. There are thousands of people. There are thousands of dogs. There's loads of distractions. I just hope we can pull this off. It's not only Dally who's got a long way to go before Crufts. Our two pedigree pooches are packed off to a posh finishing school for show dogs to learn Crufts etiquette. Welcome to my cramming school for Crufts. But is it enough to calm down hyper hound Rama and stop Rocky from attacking judges? Please don't fight the judge. Rocky. Hell-raising Rocky has been prescribed a strict regime to get him match fit for the big day. When Victoria first suggested two hours walking, I thought, oh, no, she can't be serious. But, um, yeah, I agree with her now, wholeheartedly agree with her. Rocky is a lot more calmer. He's um, not as manic as he used to be. The dog's behaviour may be improving, but not everyone is feeling the love. Oh. Oh. We've got quite a few bridges to mend with John and Rocky, but I think, fingers crossed, we'll get there in the end. I think he likes me, but I just don't like him. No. It's not all happy families yet. Rocky. But at least Jono is making some effort to help Caroline achieve her craft stream. Good boy. I don't want to get bitten, but um, if it makes me bond with him, and that's great, it's worth it, I suppose, even if I do, it did look like a pansy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? 
has to see his teeth. Caroline and her daughter Chantelle are getting to grips with Rocky's chicken-coated toothbrush. This is quite nerve-wracking, but he seems to be coping really, really well with that, actually. This strange doggy dentistry should help prepare Rocky for the probing fingers of the Crafts judge. I'm quite pleased about this. Touch his mouth if you can. Make sure the sink on toothbrush first, love. So he eats toothbrush, not you. Over in Dudley, Ian is also under pressure to get his pedigree pooch up to show dog standards. <laughs> Right, we're going to do a bit of basic obedience and go through his repertoire. Stay. Stay. Doting Dad Ian has got to seriously step it up to stand any chance of getting into crafts. Stay. We've got quite a bit to do, considering the hustle and bustle of a showering, but unfortunately, not a lot of time. In just two weeks' time, Rama and Ian have a crucial qualifying show. If they fail to impress then, they won't get into crafts. The amount of effort that Ian is putting in, he, he deserves a chance. They both deserve a chance. Heel. Eventually, training morning, noon and night starts to have an effect, as Rama seems to become karma. Karma Rama, right, mate? and the winds of change are starting to be felt throughout the house. Since we've changed Rama's diet, its flatulence has uh, started to control slightly better than it was before. Down. But better behaviour at home is only half the battle. Up. Getting past the judges at Crufts is a different ball game altogether. Victoria's done what she can with the dog's behaviour. Now, it's time to work on the owners. It's time to step it up. Welcome to my cramming school for crafts. To separate the average Joes from the best in shows, you need some insider secrets. When you get into the ring, you only have about two minutes to impress the judge, and a lot of people learn the hard way. And here, I want to introduce you to Stella, who is going to be taking us through and telling you exactly what you need to do. Real-life judge Stella Oliver will teach Victoria's recruits how to pull off a prize-winning performance in the ring. One of the first things the judge will do is appraise each dog. So when the judge is standing in front of you, that's when you need to get your dog alert and looking at his best. So what happens now is that each dog individually will come and stand in front of the judge. The pressure's on. The dog must stand to attention and no flinching as the judge's hands go in. Now the first thing the judge will be looking for is the shape of the head, the mouth, how the teeth are. You feel the muscle, check that it's got its testicles. <whistles> then stand back and appraise the dog again. Next, you must impress the judge with your movement around the ring. This is your chance to show how you and your dog can move as one as you glide gracefully together, like poetry in motion. Right, Ian? Off you go. Ah, more like a hop, a judder, and a complete stop. There's no way this model mutt is ready for the canine catwalk. Time for Stella to give some urgent instruction. You should always have something to encourage the dog to keep his head up. If you just wave the lead hand, the one with the treat in, under his nose and talk to him in a different voice. Come on, there's a good boy! Good lad, good boy, Ramo, good boy. In an instant, Stella shows it's good not lad. Rama's performance we need to worry about at Crafts, it's Ian's. That's what you need to do. <laughs> uh, there's that fine line between Getting the dog overexcited. Isn't it fascinating how when you get a professional handler out there, they just do it like that, and the dog responds. Talk to him. The skill of the handler is crucial to success, and Ian must get to grips with this before Rama's vital qualifying show in one week's time. Don't forget your present. Luckily for Caroline, Rocky has already qualified for crafts, but she still has problems handling him on the judging table. Next up, we've got Rocky. We've had a few problems with him on the table. Um, when the judge goes over him, he gets a bit growly and a bit nippy. Rocky, good boy. Nice, good lad. Caroline 
is already nervous. Will Stella's fingers be safe? Rock. Good boy. Rocky, stand. Okay, now at this point I say you're overhandling him. Go to the side of the table and just relax. Good lad, good, good lad, Rocky. Rocks. Teeth, good boy. Good Once over anxious Caroline stands back, Rocky performs like a pro. Okay, that's good. Keep talking to him, good loose lad, lead. Rocks. Go to the end of the lead. Good boy, Rocky. Good. I don't see what the problem is. He stood like a rock, he looks fantastic. He's allowed me to look in the sharp end and the blunt end, no problem. That's a miracle, actually, because usually he would have had your hand by now. Stella, you don't know what Caroline's been through. It well, is Caroline. superb. You. You've done really well today. What you've got to do is make all of this work on the day. Just get out there, train hard, and good luck. It's also crunch time for Dally. Gets back to the top of each car and recalls Dally. She may not have the pedigree papers, but she'll be at Crufts anyway, dancing in the heel work to music display. I think she was kind of getting it then. Sit. <laughs> Victoria sent Debbie and the girls to practice at Richard's group dance class. These loyal doggy dancers are here week after week practicing their weaves, wiggles, jumps, and canine acrobatics. Soon it's Dally's turn to take the stage, and Debbie is looking rather nervous. I'd like to go home now. <laughs> She's not the only one. At the crucial moment, Dally seems struck with stage fright. And try as she might, Debbie just can't get the show on the road. Dally, come on. Dally. She's too busy running around. We might have to start again. Good girl. Hill. It's a disaster. And dance guru Richard is far from impressed. Dally, over, over. Do you want to just turn your music off? <laughs> he didn't like us. He didn't like the dog. He didn't like the music. He didn't like the costumes. The rest of it, I think he thought was OK. <laughs> I'm confident Dally can dance at Crufts, but we need to work on her focus and keep her from being so easily distracted. So food will be our secret weapon here. I want to do just a bit of a test on Dally. I want to see which food in which hand she prefers. Look at that, she keeps on going back to my right hand. Back to my right hand. Even though I've got exactly the same treat, this has been warmed up. And when you warm food up, it actually smells much nicer to a dog. You need, in the ring, a massive, massive motivator to keep her focused on you. With hot frankfurters and Victoria's hot tips, the routine is transformed. I'm really I'm into it too. Oh my god, that was fantastic! That was brilliant! <laughs> I am laughing so much that I'm crying. It's absolutely brilliant. For Ian and Rama, it's make or break, as all their hard work is about to be put to the test at this qualifying show in Stafford. Probably the biggest lesson I've learned about showing, really, is it's, it's not just about the dog. It's how I project myself onto the dog. You show any weakness, and that's it. These qualifying rounds take place all over the country, and competition is fierce. Rama must get first, second or third to win a place at Crufts in March. If he doesn't pull it off today, it's all over. Big day today. I think Ian's a little bit nervous, and I just hope that Rama doesn't pick up on that. Um, so, I'm wishing them all the best. Fingers crossed. 
up the road in Birmingham, it's also a big day for Caroline. Rocky has already qualified for crafts, but Victoria has called them here for some vital practice under show conditions. All right, how do you feel? A little nervous, a little apprehensive, but better than I did a while ago. Okay. So. Caroline is desperate for success in the ring, but can she hold her nerve? You know that it's a, a lot down to you. Positive mental attitude, so I keep telling myself anyway. Back in Stafford, there's a setback. To Ian's horror, ah! there is treble the competition he was expecting. Winning a place here is going to be tough, and it seems like all eyes are on Ian. Only three of these pharaoh hounds will go through, and Rana has the next two minutes to impress the judge and win a place at Crafts. Thank you. Thank you. When it really counts, Rama stands like a true champion. Top corner and back, and then round and join the end, please. Come on, then, Ian at last seems like a confident handler as he and Rama gracefully glide across the ring in perfect step. It seems like everything is in place. But have they done enough to beat the stiff competition? The judge gives his verdict. Up yours, please. The key positions first, yours, please. second, yours, please. third yours. are gone. Yeah, mind, eh? Rama is last and won't be going to crafts. It's a huge disappointment, but Ian's philosophical. Yeah, it would have been nice to have shown him a crufts, but that's just one of them things. At the end of the day, judge's decision. He knows what he wants. He likes what he sees, and that's it. Rama has proved he can behave like a show dog. But for this judge, the other dogs were simply better examples of the breed. In my opinion, he was fifth. <laughs> it is the top class. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Daddy loves you all the same. Yes. I'm really disappointed that Rama didn't make it through. He certainly put in a performance worthy of Crufts. It was just that the judge thought the other dogs were better looking. Come on, mate. It's tough, but that's what Crofts is all about. Now I just hope that Rocky and Caroline have more luck. Oh, Although Rocky has already qualified, Victoria's now even more anxious to see Caroline perform well in this practice run. I feel nervous for Caroline. Yeah, no, that's, that's who yeah, I feel Yeah, it's a big thing. It's a big thing for you. Caroline is visibly tense and incessantly calls Rocky's name. Uh, Rocky, Rocky, Rock, Rocky. Yanking his lead isn't helping either. Please don't do that to him. As Caroline manhandles Rocky onto the table... Please don't bite the judge. ..things go from bad to worse as he growls at the judge. Oops. Sorry. No. This is a disaster. Get. Maybe that growl could have cost them, you know. Rocky, watch. Oh, my gosh, I cannot take the pressure. The judge gives her verdict. Come on. Oh, please, come on. Good lad. But Rocky isn't placed. You've got to start being better than that, you know, it's a boy. I would like to give up right now. I've got this far, I've got to do it, I've got to see it to the end. Definitely. And we Rocky. Another disappointing result, but all is not lost. I do believe Rocky can do it, and I know that Caroline has the passion to do well at crafts, she's just got to control her nerves. <laughs> Despite the disappointment, Victoria's still got faith. I think the problem is you. Mm. Yeah. It really is. Victoria is working hard to help Crufts wannabes Rocky and Caroline achieve their dream. Caroline's really going to have to pull herself together and find a way of relaxing with Rocky if he's going to have any chance. And her advice is finally getting through. 
Victoria is so right. I really have got to learn how to control my nerves. They're taking over now. And until I sort my nerves out, I don't think this dog is ever going to be any better. Over the next couple of months, Caroline's change of attitude takes effect. If he does this at Crofts, that's lovely. Rocky's been reacting really well to the training. He's letting people get in a lot closer to him. He's actually stood there like a show dog for once. Amazing. It's a fantastic specimen. Of a German Spitz. I've never seen one like it. It's brilliant. Go back. Oh, look at his mouth. Ah! Good boy. Will all their hard work pay off when it counts? With only 24 hours until the big day, the final preparations are underway. Dally, Debbie and the girls have been working tirelessly at their dance routine. Now they're determined to make sure they look the part. Oh, funny when I stop laughing. <laughs> we've done the training, we've done the moves, we know the routine and the music. This is the last bit to pull it all together. Finally, oh, wow. the girls are ready. The big day dawns. 25,000 dogs, all desperate for a moment of glory. Some stride, some waddle, and some prance their way into Crofts. And amongst them all are Team Dally and Team Rocky. For Jono and Caroline, there's an army of German Spitzes to contend with. You should always brush the German Spitz middle here up the way, always up the way, never down the way. Are you feeling good? Yes. I mean, slightly, but if we didn't feel slightly nervous, then it wouldn't be right, because it's competition. Also about to hit the spotlight are Dally and the Dalettes. You look amazing. You look amazing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you, are you excited? We're excited. I think we'll be nervous as we go to the bing. Right. Don't forget the power of warmed up treats and keep her focus on you. But will hot sausage be enough? A huge crowd has gathered. All eyes are on the dog dancers and Dally's up. Now this is Dally the Dalmatian with Debbie. And she is a rescue dog. She's not an easy dog to train. We, she's never been in this environment. So, ladies and gentlemen, please cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your legs, cross everything. Into the middle, please, Debbie. Fantastic. We just wanted to say congratulations. That's a cup for you and Dally. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look, you've got, you got a sausage cup. Also going for gold is Rocky. All the training, everything has come to this moment. I would just say go in there, have a fantastic time and enjoy it. As she trots him around the ring, Caroline is finally looking like a relaxed and confident owner. But will she keep her cool when it comes to the judging table? For once, Rocky keeps his gnashes to himself. At last, Caroline is enjoying the moment. It's crunch time. He's not got first or second. But fantastically, Rocky scoops third place. It's a massive result for a novice dog whose aggression nearly got him banned for life. Yeah, well done, well done. Well done. Oh. I was thinking, please move well, please move well. But I think, right. okay. I think you've had quite a battle, just a personal battle, really, to calm your nerves, to become relaxed. Um, but you've done it, you did it. We were all the ones that were nervous today, not you. You've proved us wrong and it's absolutely brilliant. I'm really proud. It's, uh, you know, we'll be able to go home now and 
put a little of that in the middle of the uh, fireplace. And, see, he's, he's our dog, yeah, he's done well.